All right, time to spot a liar. Two truths and a lie here. We've got two stories are going to be real. One of them is going to be fake. Can you pick out the bogus story? Suits, who tricked us all last week. He was the liar. I got and, you guys uh, good last yeah, week. You yeah. Did. yeah, you did. Let's see. Fool me once. I think George W. Bush said, you'll never fool me again, or whatever they say. Remember how he started off that quote, and then he just couldn't yeah. finish it? <laughs> You know what they say, you fool me once, you fool's never going to fool again. Okay, Suits, what you got here for your story today? I mean, talk about being accidentally topical. Mine's actually kind of political. Um, so this goes back to when I was a kid, and, you know, we always talk about how crazy people are with their political views and, you know, how much it causes so many fights. But it really was still like that, just not to the extent it was now, back when I was a kid. So... I had the day off from school because it was election day, and I went with my mom when she went to vote in the 2004 presidential election. And um, I was so fascinated for some reason by the process. You know how little kids are. Sure. An adult does something they can't do. It's amazing to them. So I was asking her nonstop, like 20 questions about what she did in the whole process. So we're walking out of the place that we just voted in Parkland, and As I'm asking her questions in front of people holding signs for the person she didn't vote for, I said who she voted for. And right in front of them, they heard me say it. And they got so angry, they started yelling that you're ruining this country with your vote. And my mom just ushered us out of there. And I got such a lecture on why you never say who you vote for. Especially in front of people because the ones that stand by the polling place on the street are the craziest people when it comes to their views. And yeah, they they like wanted to fight us. It was pretty crazy. So don't do that. (laughs) By the way, you look fierce AF. Oh, thank you. I I feel fierce in this picture. Pretty in pink. That's nice. And he's got a uh, suit jacket on. (laughs) I mean, I had to kind of keep some of it going. He reminds me of a Molly Ringwald from like the 80s. Pretty in pink. she wear this kind of a look? Just you remind me of her, girl. It is National Wear a Dress Day, so everybody is celebrating. Very free. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. Okay, Bird, let's hear what your story is today in Two Truths and a Lie. Y'all remember that yogurt place, TCBY? Well, we were we were fans of it because they had put one, a new one up in Lake Park. It was a big deal when we got one in Lake Park or Lake Park slash Palm Beach Gardens area. Frozen yogurt, when it first came out, was a big deal to my mom, too, because she's like, yeah. oh, it's like diet, but it's like ice cream, but like frozen yogurt. Yogurt's good for you. 110% my mom and Ann were on this yogurt train, and yes. it got us yeah. as kids because they had the Oreo cookies you could put in there. Totally. I'm not sure if it was even healthy. It wasn't. <laughs> like, oh, look at me, I'm losing weight. So we, it's ice cream. <laughs> we uh, we would go there all the time, and they were they're doing some kind of contest where you could win five hundred dollars worth of TCBY. Wow. So my sister Tina, she signed up with the foreman. We ended up winning five hundred dollars worth. So we go there, and they asked, okay, who's the one that signed up for it? And my sister Tina, who is under the age of eighteen, said, I did. I signed it and they took away our $500 because Tina wasn't a legal adult. She wasn't 18 or older. Dang. They took away the $500 worth. We never got this TCBY money and I still hear about that at holidays. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, that, and that's a big deal too. You think you're getting 500 bucks for the TCBY and they take it away from you? Wow, okay. My family doesn't do well with that. <laughs> okay. Is TCBY still in business? I haven't seen one in a minute. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen one in so long. Country's they, Best Yogurt? They tricked me with those Oreos, Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> they did. <laughs> that used to be the hot spot. Huh, it used to be one of the largest retailers of soft serves frozen yogurt. It was founded in 1981. Oh, yeah. That was prime for when (laughs) Big Linda was like, oh, I'm going to do a diet. Yeah. So I'm going to eat eight pounds of... (laughs) Frozen yogurt. Mid eighties, mid eighties diet for my my mom and aunt Anne was okay. We're gonna go to the uh, the Wendy's Mexican buffet, talk in the taco bar, and then we're gonna go to TCBY for some yogurt. Like, my, that's like three thousand calories <laughs> at least. <laughs> I mean, they get this big salad and just throw a bottle of ranch dressing <laughs> on it. The dining's fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Denny's, what is your story here in Two Truths and a Lie? All right, so back in the day, my father got a work laptop that he would use to travel with, and he would install games for my brother and I so that when we were traveling, we could play games and whatnot. Well, his old laptop stopped working, so the company gave him a new one, and he was moving all the stuff over to his new laptop. And he goes, don't go in my office. Nobody go in there. It's backing up a bunch of stuff. Nobody can mess with it. 
So, of course, me and my brother, after my dad left for work, went in there to go mess with it. And my brother <laughs> wanted to install a new game on it. And I telling him, no, we can't do it. My dad's going to freak out. You know, dad's going to freak out. We're, we're messing with it. My brother knocks over an orange juice on it. And then my mom comes in and sees it. And she is so mad at us. He goes, you weren't supposed to be in here, blah, blah, blah. So she's helping us clean it up. And she doesn't want to tell our father this. Yeah. So my dad gets back from work later. And we got the laptop just sitting in the same spot. It's clean and everything. He comes in. Everything seems fine. Like, we're all just kind of waiting to see if there's any reaction to anything. About two hours later, we see him in there, and the computer's working, and he's working on it. And none of us want to say anything. Well, I'd say about four or five years later, we're at dinner, and we find out that my dad actually brought his laptop to work that day. The one he left was his old one, so we didn't actually mess up anything, but we kept this secret for five years. Ah! (laughs) <laughs> and it came out when my mom confessed it to him that we messed up one of his computers and we were at wondering how it didn't get him in trouble at work and everything. He goes, oh, I took it with me that day. So I, I don't trust even, you guys. It, yeah, he goes, I didn't even leave it there. I knew there'd be something. So I just took it with me to work that morning. But he said that he left it there, not thinking that any of us would even go in there and mess with it. But That's funny. For four years, we thought we messed up his computer. <laughs> until my mom confessed it at a dinner. Hmm. Okay. All right. Virginia, what are you thinking here? Is there one of these stories that seems like it might not be true to you? Gosh, I liked them all. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we're, we're crafty and tricky yeah, these you days. You are. We have meetings about this bit. Okay. I bet you do. <laughs> you do say I bet you I do. I bet you do, because you have no life. <laughs> <laughs> Our life is a show, damn it. <laughs> 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 okay, well, you got Suits who revealed that his mom voted for a candidate at a polling place in front of the other candidate supporters. <laughs> Jaybird's family had $500 of TCBY money taken from them. And uh, Denny's family kept a secret of a spilled orange juice on his dad's laptop. So which one is the lie? One of us is lying, Virginia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to vote Suits. You know, oddly enough, I know he was uh, last week, and I'm kind of leaning on suits as well. Oh, just are they gonna, I, yeah, they're going to do a back-to-back on us. Just because we had a liar last week doesn't mean suits can't be the liar this week. Mm-hmm. You never know. We cover that in our meetings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we try to think of ways to trick you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Well, a majority of people now say it's Denny's, 37% of the vote. Bird close behind at 35. Suits is now in last place. That's the one that I'm kind of leaning on, even though Suits was the liar last week. Yeah. I think I would go uh, Jaybird next is the liar, and then Denny's. That's the order I'm going. <laughs> Us girls are just having a, just great fun over here in our dresses. By the way, you can see literally every inch of Denny's in that dress. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough, oh the God. front of the dress. <laughs> there is nothing left to the imagination there. <laughs> My gosh, Denny's. <laughs> I had to stop looking at Denny's because I am blushing. Sweet Denny's not so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> or is he? Real sweet. You got little Denny's and big D. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, big Denny's came to work. We should probably make a dress, a dress once a weekly, right? Uh, do this once a week. <laughs> so you can see Denny's D? <laughs> no, we're having a great He's enjoying it. We're having fun. Look how much fun we're having. <laughs> okay, so who is our liar here today? Step forward. Will the real liar please stand up? That would be me. Oh, oh bird. Okay. TCBY lies. None of that was real. Wow. None of it, Virginia. You got us. Yeah. Look at and you. For, I had Virginia Google it about, is TCBY still? She I was. She did. was really invested. I don't know if you realize this, but they're global. There's one in Wellington. <laughs>